and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Sejuani Frostbite. We're also going to be bringing back a good amount of decks today. That's what we're kind of doing with our 12-hour stream. Um, decks that I've really liked throughout um, the last four or five days of the new set. We're going to be kind of we're going to be uh, replaying them. And this one in particular, I really liked, and I think could be really good in this metagame that's very filled with Demacia decks and a lot of people attacking and blocking. This deck does great in combat with the, the core of Legion Drummer, Glory Seeker, Rhymefang, Wolf, and Ash. Like that core makes uh, makes things like really difficult to block because you have um you know you have like your challenger units you have uh the legion drummer that gives them quick attack and then you have the ash that whenever it attacks frostbite stuff and just kind of mixing that with a bunch of other frostbite cards and really good one mana tricks to be able to own combat with brittle steel and elixir of iron and you have a, a really solid deck sejuani is like the perfect top end card that this deck's really wanted um, so the, love this new addition here. And then you also even have card advantage for the control decks with the help of Trifarian Assessor. Get good size with Hearth Guards. This deck just looks really, really strong. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of that's kind of it. There's not too many new cards in this deck. Um, yeah, there's not really new, you know, just basically we got Sejuani and Caught in the Cold. And I did like Caught in the Cold last time that we played it. But I think this is just a, a very solid deck and a good metagame for it. All right, so let's let's play it. Let's go... Uh, I guess we'll, we'll use our Summoner's Rift card. That's fine. So we're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Yeah, with the mic, you're supposed to point it up like this because you're supposed to, like, I guess you're supposed to talk into, like, this part of the mic. Um, yeah, that's that's how it's designed, at least. I mean, I guess I, I could have it facing the other way. I don't know if there's any difference in, like, talking to it, like, talking into the mic if it's facing this way or not. But then again, I can't see the, the light that way either. Um... Okay, so there is a there is a big difference. Okay. Let's get Glory be to the seeker first. Usually we want to go like Rhymefang Wolf on turn three into Ash, but if I go Drummer, I kind of want to go. I don't want to go with these because then I still have two mana for Caught in the Cold, if we want to. But okay, I was gonna say I expect them not to play anything and have me attack, and then they play stuff. This could be. I could just like not attack. And we don't do eight damage, but then they don't get to play, you know, like their solitary monk this turn. I wonder, I wonder if that would have been good. It's a lot of damage we're missing out on. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's a... I mean, that is a sweet setup there. QQ. I do like that, how you have your mic, like, hanging, like, right here. 
Um, because this is like in the way a lot, like when I'm trying to like type and stuff, and it's like, you know, I'm bumping it all the time. It's kind of in the way, but. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I got you. Okay, so like the different modes on on the back, like those things, I could I can turn that and then turn around. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure, Choco. Um, favorite region? I I kind of appreciate different things in a lot of regions. I don't know if I have like a specific favorite, honestly. I do like a lot of things in the different regions. No, let's just play this. Ash is at one, it attack will be two. Victory requires a sharp blade. I really hope they don't have judgment. That'd be pretty random for them to just have judgment, right? We still have harsh winds, you know, they they try stuff, we get the harsh winds. The order rewards its faithful. Ash is at two out of five. So they could have repost. Which I hope not. Hope no repost. That's fine. It's better than repost because we're still trading. So yeah, I'm sorry I don't have a better answer for you there, Choco. Um... I wish I did, but I, I don't really have a a specific region that um, is like my absolute favorite. Bad they purified this. I would have pulled that over here. They want to use like pump spells and you know make the solitary monk bigger. They're not killing my rhyme thing wolf, they're just killing this omen hawk. And you know, like right now we have eight unblocked damage. Okay. They're just purifying to kill an omen hawk. All right, there we go. So you can kind of see, like, with how those, those games play. Like, this deck really does great in combat. It's, it's really hard to block this. With all the challenger, frostbite, all that kind of stuff. People aren't playing as much removal. People are playing a lot of units. Oh, well, this is a removal-heavy deck. This is... This is our worst matchup. Karina Control. 
This is the downfall to our deck. Uh, maybe we need to keep Hearthguard. I don't know. Hearthguard's slow. All right. Well, I'm glad we mulliganed the one. Just get another one. I think we'll need both of these things to help protect Ash. No. Five damage. That's not good. Alright, I guess I'll... Trade with a third <laughs> their brood awakening. That was really unfortunate. Our Ash Dying. Thermogenic beam. Alright, let's go, Hearthguard. Pump him up. Take a Sejuani. Tilt over and force it on the scene. Oh, I hope they don't have t two mana removal. <sighs> wish I had one more mana. I really wish I had Elixir of Iron to protect this wolf. I guess all they need is any spell, because any spell pumps up Vi. It's worth it. Maybe they don't have a spell. No. Okay. Well, we still got rid of a Vi. So that's kind of good. Got rid of a Vi. I shouldn't have attacked with the 5 2. I have Assessor. I shouldn't have attacked with that 5 2. And, and plus, you know, obviously, kills Vi. That was a bad attack. No, that was a bad attack.
Okay. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Stop killing my wolf. Getting cool. All right, so going with, um, you know, pulling Vi over to the Sejuani, because it's got to be the most difficult to kill the Sejuani. And Sejuani has Overwhelm also, so we still get four damage across. Yeah, Sejuani is a nice six drop. Only the finest serve. Okay, not ruination. That's probably good. Um Go Legion Drummer or Ice Veil vale Archer? Probably the Archer. In case I play Ash and then they uh, kill my Ash immediately. Alright, sweet. GG's. My aim is true. Now neither neither thing can block. Because of Ash's ability. All right, so even our even our bad matchup, still getting there. Trifarian Assessor can help you out. You know, like that's that's the hope is that Trifarian Assessor draws you those cards. But Sejuani was big, uh, definitely. You know, like it got rid of got rid of that Vi, dealt a lot of damage, took up a bunch of removal, well, like one removal spell, but still Sejuani is real good. Oh, yeah, this deck's very competitive. Yeah. No! Worst matchup again! Stop! I'll just play creature decks. I feel like I should have mulliganed the Assessor. Yeah, but I mean, it's still... I mean, there are... This is a popular deck. And yeah, that's... You know, you can't really beat everything. And yes, this is a popular deck, and so that is a bummer having a popular deck for a, a bad matchup. But, um... Will no one listen? But there's just so much more, you know, aggro and, uh... 
and Demacia decks and, you know, everything else put together. Even though this is a popular deck, it's still, like, you know, probably less than 10% of the metagame. Just ran into it twice in a row, unfortunately. Really wish I could double spell. Really wish I had the six man I could play like Ash and Glory Seeker or Ice Veil Archer. The War Mother will unite us all. Punch it. Eat this. Oh right. Forgot about that challenger on that thing. Maybe I should have archered. A lot of good options. There's a lot of good options to do here. I'm not sure which one is the best. I think I'm gonna go Ash Glory Seeker. Like I go Ash, they use removal here. And then I go Glory Seeker, and maybe they don't have another cheap removal spell. And we get to kill Vi with Glory Seeker. Maybe. Nope, they had another one, but at least that, that other one they had was Thermogenic Beam. I like that. That we got that out of their hand because if I would have, I definitely really, you know, I wanted to do Sejuani, but if I would have done Sejuani, they would have thermogenic beamed Sejuani. So that's that's good getting that card out of their hands. Uh, I'd rather trade my my one toughness card for thermogenic beam. I like that trade. That also means, you know, kind of signals that they're a little desperate. Yeah, so they're passing. They want me to play something else for them to buy. The problem is... It would be good to pass back so they don't get to Vi, but the problem with that... Um, Only the finest serve. Is we can't just sit around forever, because they're late game like with all the 9 drops and everything. We, we really do need to play stuff. Should have played Omen Hawk first.
They have to be worried about brittle steel. Possible they kill the wolf. Bow to no one. Nope, they did not kill the wolf. I wanted to kind of test them with that. Is nice. It's safer to put on the Sejuani, but if they have vengeance, like I don't want them to kill my Sejuani, I'd rather them kill the Hearth Guard. So we got rid of two Ledros. I didn't see what that middle creature was. Was that another Ledros? No, a Skitterer. Okay, that's good. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. The chances they have a uh, sweeper. Do you think those decks play much ruination? Alright, that's fine. As long as it's not four. Uh, I guess I should probably elixir. Yeah, cause I can. I can elixir also. Yeah, so it's elixir. This thing. Come on, be be three or less. Three or less. Three or less. We need we need creatures. Perfect. Get rid of that third Ledros also. Good. So we get just have another threat out here. 
is good. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Sweet. Two overs are our supposed bad matchup. Like that's that's our bad matchup or two O. Champion capsule. Well, let's get us a Vi. All right, that's the third Vi. So my only two champions I need left are to um, let's see where we're going. Freljord. Get the last champion capsule. Um, the Ionia, the new Ionia champion. I don't have. All of those. I, I need two more of those. I only have one. There's one more champion capsule in the rewards. Time to work for that. And then we'll go get all those sleeves. Zed Fiora. This is where we want to draw like our Brittle Steels and Elixir of Irons and stuff like that. Sweet. And of course, Ash. Obviously, our deck's much better with Ash than without Ash. Are you listening to me, computer? I like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Probably should be elixir. Wow, that was just perfect. It could be elixir of ironing to. Um, to protect. I'm glad we didn't use that one mana. But basically, I wanted to save it for Ash. You know, I want to. Like. Ash is too important. Want to save Ash. All the world on one arrow. I didn't leave with Glory Seekers, because Glory Seekers can be a, a good thing to have. Like this, this could be like nice removal spells for a little bit later on. That card's good. Wow, that's really good. Whoa, that is broken. Um, that is broken. Well, it looks like we could lose. I did not think we were going to be losing this, but I guess Grizzled Ranger, Dawn and Dusk. It's broken. My arrow? I think not. 
I think not. I kind of assumed that they thought that I wasn't going to be able to replay Ash. <laughs> yeah, Grizzled Ranger will likely be nerfed. Um, Hex. Card is pretty ridiculous. Still doing fine. The dark beckons. Seriously. My only play. Elusive. You earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. I like that harsh winds. In case we don't have in case we don't get lethal here for some reason. Here passing. Enough stalling. They would fall by my blade. Not and ready. Oh, well, yeah, if they were planning on Judgment, they only got seven mana now. <laughs> Sedge getting impatient. All right, so we'll do uh, you, you, you. The four should be... Uh, it doesn't matter. No, it's fine. This is good. Sejuani is so small for a champion. Six mana champion. It's a five six. You know, it's like my cursor covers up all of Sejuani. Okay, you know this deck is br is just great whenever uh, we just beat Grizzled Ranger Dawn and Dusk. I don't know what this rested XP bonus means. Oh, so it's just that's just nothing. We got 200. And there is a thing on the the first screen that says that XP is not displaying properly sometimes. GG's, c'est la vie. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. They went Grizzled Ranger, Dawn and Dusk, and we still won. All right, final boss time. We're 4 0. Let's get that 5 0. 
Fiora Zed. This, I think this is like the standalone deck, right? Fiora Zed's usually the standalone deck, and so Harsh Winds can be real important in the late game whenever they're you know going for like their big attack. Uh, staying alive. Exactly where we need Sejuani. We really need a two drop. But can't complain too much getting these three, but we need a two drop now. What's up, CDN dude? It's the best starter deck. Um, heck, maybe this deck. That could be the best. Um, but no, like, with the starter decks, like, the, uh, spiders is the way to go. You know, playing Elise and Darius and going with the spiders. It's kind of building what you have. Down from the trees. All right, unfortunate, no two drop. Trivarian Glory Seeker or um, Legion Drummer, those would have been great to have. Awesome, CDN dude. Got out of gold last night on the way back to Diamond. You'll get there. There you go, yeah. But you're playing Ranger with Bannerman before the nerf. <laughs> yeah, I will not be surprised if Ranger gets some kind of nerf. That that is a pretty silly pretty silly card. Well that's a bummer. I think it's still probably worth playing Ash over the other Rhyme Fang Wolf, I think. I could see it being better to play the other Rhyme Fang Wolf and just attack it in. And challenge in, though. But no, I'm going to play this. I want this to level up. Fury of the North. They're going to block standalone. I need to save nine life. Probably not. I'll probably just take this and then play Rhyming Wolf. But just in case something crazy happens. The problem is if they go rally, right? Let's see. I mean, obviously they can't rally right now. But the problem is rally next turn. Next turn, I'll just have the three mana. Let's see. It would go me playing Sejuani. And still, I get to challenge both of these. Pain is nothing. Swiftly now.
Remember, Sejuani has Overwhelm. Probably gonna be pretty difficult for them to kill me. Pledge yourself to the shadows. A chill in the air. Probably gonna be difficult for them to kill me. Played some Maokai Hecarim this morning. Nice. Good combo. Where's all those emotes now? By my honor, you must die. Strike quickly, strike all down. All right, looks like we're going to be 5 and 0. Oh. There we go, 5 and 0. Oh. This deck is just really nice. Has such good interaction. And Frostbite's really good. Sejuani's really good. Ash is amazing. The core of the deck with uh, Drummer, Glory Seeker, Wolf, like that core... It's really, really good. But I love Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron. Like, these two one-mana tricks are awesome. This deck's just solid. It's very, very good. Uh, we haven't lost with it yet. We, we went 5-0 earlier in the week. 5-0 again today. Um, if you've been playing for a little bit, you know, so you have cards, but you didn't, uh, you know, don't have a lot of new stuff, you know, it doesn't require too much new stuff. Just two Sejuani's, two Caught in the Cold's. We didn't really do very much with Caught in the Cold this time, but I remember last time we did a lot more with it. The Vulnerable with Caught in the Cold is really cool, too, because um, you get to, you know, Frostbite their thing and then have your Legion Drummer or your Ash challenge where you're, you know, so, like, because, you know, like, with Legion Drummer and with Ash, both of these creatures usually attack, and you can't really keep them from blocking, um, you know, and trading with your Drummer or your Ash, but that Vulnerable is pretty nice. Um, yeah, just really like this deck. Um, and with, with all these, we didn't play against Demacia too much, uh, but with all these Demacia decks running around, this is a good option. And I do think this is pretty good against those standalone decks, because, like, cards like Harsh Winds, you know, and, and Ash, and, like, these challengers, like, you are able to, um, take out large creatures with Frostbite stuff. Uh... Yeah, we're you're pretty good against burn also. Like burn the thing about burn decks is whenever whenever the burn decks have like their really good hands, they they beat kind of anything. So like you're not going to always win against burn, but you're still pretty good because you have, you know, you start with creatures right away, you know, like you know, like you have good interaction and you have cheap things. Like you can get on the board fast also. And then again, brittle steel and elixir of iron, these are both really good cards in the burn matchup. You know, Brittle Steel helping you win combat for your your creatures early on, and Elixir of Iron keeping your things alive. Um, so yeah, actually the the burn matchup's actually pretty decent too. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's Sejuani Frostbite. Um, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and yeah, give this deck a try. Let me know how it goes. Also, with with your daily rewards, I think if you if you get like this all seven days of the daily rewards everybody's getting two ashes for free um i know i'm on day six so like if you get two ashes tomorrow if you have been logging in the last seven days um yeah that's yep that's twice in a row five oh for this deck yeah we're 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 only i've only played 10 matches and i've won all 10 
Um, so that's pretty decent. And and we've we've faced uh, Karina Control twice. The deck that we thought that was going to be our bad matchup, we actually beat that twice. So that's really good too. All right, so yeah, y'all on YouTube, give this deck a try. Give me that feedback. Uh, let me know what you think, because yeah, I think this deck is super, super strong. All right, but thanks so much for watching some Sejuani Frostbite, and I will see you for the next video.